It's the original fast food restaurant, the purveyor of tiny burgers with an outsized appeal known simply as the Crave. White Castle may not be the largest burger chain, but it arguably has the most devoted following, with fans writing songs and directing movies about it and getting married inside restaurants. Not bad for an operation that began as a single hamburger stand in Wichita, Kansas nearly a hundred years ago. Do you have the Crave for trivia? We can relate, and that's why we're handing out these juicy and delicious white White Castle facts by the sack. So slide her on over and learn these 10 bite-sized facts that might change the way you think about one of America's most beloved burger joints. In this video, we're going to show you 10 facts that you need to know about White Castle. We're Only Brands, the channel dedicated to bringing you awesome, regular content on the world's hottest brands. Let's do this. Number 1. Sliders If we're being totally honest here, it doesn't strike us as a fantastic start if a burger chain isn't even willing to market their hamburgers as hamburgers. No White Castle prefers to refer to them as sliders. However, May was National Hamburger Month, and White Castle had a lot to celebrate. The 101-year-old family-owned business reached a significant milestone, all-time sales of its burgers with the original slider and cheese slider surpassing $28 billion. That includes 22 billion sliders sold in restaurants and another 6 billion sold through the company's retail division. Today's White Castle slider is pretty much the same as the original recipe. Anderson's original hamburger involved cooking a small beef patty over shredded onions, then sliding it onto a bun instead of between slices of bread. And vegetarians rejoice! White Castle introduced meat-free veggie sliders in December of 2014, but their most recent foray is the Impossible Slider. The patties have a similar look and texture to meat in comparison to the chunky vegetable patty alternatives. The meatless burgers are available at other burger joints and in some supermarkets too. Number 2. White Castle Munchies Who'd have thought it? A movie based around sliders. A well-loved stoner flick with elements of classic screwball comedy, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, known as Harold and Kumar get the munchies in some countries that do not have white castles. Captivated audiences in 2004 with its simple premise and the wild hilarity that comes with trying to accomplish said premise. Harold Lee, John Cho, and Kumar Patel, Cal Penn, are two New Jersey natives with problems. Harold is an uptight investment banker who's taken advantage of by his douchebag co-workers, tormented by racist extreme sports enthusiasts, and cannot work up the courage to talk to his neighbor Maria. Kumar is being pressured by his dad to attend medical school when he would rather relax and smoke a bowl. After getting high and seeing a commercial for White Castle, the duo decide to travel to the nearest White Castle in Cherry Hill for burgers. Unfortunately for them, problems arise to stop Harold and Kumar from reaching their goal, some caused by their own actions, but mostly by events outside of their control. Number 3. Hall of Fame in 2002, White Castle began to induct public figures, celebrities, and pop icons that had publicly shown their love to White Castle. To enter the annual Cravers Hall of Fame contest, Cravers submit original stories about their relationship with White Castle, why is it meaningful to them, and the efforts that they've undertaken to satisfy their cravings for the one-of-a-kind taste of White Castle. In 2014, White Castle's Cravers Hall of Fame welcomed the legendary architect of shock rock, Alice Cooper. While visiting Columbus during the All Bad Things tour, Cooper stopped by the Columbus-based White Castle home office for a VIP tour, induction ceremony, and an impromptu jam session. Presented with a plaque and a live cover performance of a few of his most notable songs, Cooper was honored in true Craver fashion. Cooper was the first rock and roll Hall of Famer to be inducted into the Cravers Hall of Fame. Other celebrity Cravers who have been honored include Speaker of the House John Boner, Alex Wereso, a Los Angeles television producer, and the stars of Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle, John Cho, and Cal Penn. Stan Lee, the longtime leader of Marvel Comics, had a proud history with the Sliders. Growing up in Washington Heights in the Bronx, I loved White Castle, Lee had said in 2017. The infamous Sliders was a favorite then, just as it remains today over 95 years later. I'm grateful to White Castle for recognizing my lifelong cravings, and I'm honored to join the past and future Craver Hall of Fame inductees. By the way, a lot of hard work and care goes into these videos, so if you could help us out and click the subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it. Number 4. White Castle Lyrics 
Run DMC might have spent one single chilling at a KFC, and Ice Cube may have prominently endorsed Burger King as his date night dining establishment of choice, but no fast food relationship in the 80s hip hop ran as deep as that of the Beastie Boys and White Castle. Despite their later reluctance to have their music associated with any kind of advertising, the then infants terrible of New York rap rock were more than happy to give their preferred cult favorite burger chain a virtually unprecedented amount of real estate on the classic 1986 LP licensed to three. Number five, Love Castle. No punches were pulled in 2018 when Lovebird's Adam Mandel and Whitney Wicker won a nationwide White Castle wedding contest. Yes, really. Along with thousands of other couples, they submitted an application explaining why they deserve the grand prize, the right to stage their wedding rehearsal, ceremony, and reception at a White Castle restaurant in Las Vegas. A five-day Belgian honeymoon was also included as well as a slider-shaped cake and bouquets decorated with takeout boxes. Isn't it romantic? Number six, pioneer of fast food. According to David G. Hogan's book, Selling Them by the Sack, Founder Walt Anderson, while working at his original burger stand, noticed several young boys who regularly bought sacks of hamburgers. Thinking this odd, he decided to investigate and followed a young patron as he walked down the street, around the corner, and made a delivery into the open door of a limousine. In 1916, Anderson opened a hamburger stand with an $80 loan and quickly expanded to four locations. W.E. Billy Ingram, a local real estate broker who would eventually become the company's CEO, bought in, and in 1916, in 21, they established a chain of small, efficiently run restaurants selling five cent burgers by the sack. White Castle is widely credited as the first fast food concept in America. Number seven, patty invention. Anderson, a short order cook in Wichita, Kansas, liked to experiment with the size and shape of the hamburger patties he served. His greatest invention though, was said to have occurred by accident. One day, he became so frustrated when the meatballs he was cooking kept sticking to the griddle that he smashed one with a spatula and thus the flat patty was born. And in 1954, a White Castle employee named Earl Howell, who worked at the company's Cincinnati location, suggested that the now iconic patties would cook faster if they were punctured with a series of little holes. He was really onto something. Today, all White Castle hamburgers are prepared in this fashion, with five holes apiece. Quote, we actually don't own the patent on the machine that makes the five holes, White Castle Vice President Jamie Richardson said in 2017 in an interview with Thrillist. It's called a meat horn. That was an especially juicy fact, right? I think that one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Number eight, healthy option. The 2004 film Super Size Me, in which a filmmaker eats nothing but McDonald's for an entire month, solidified a link between fast food and health problems, and even helped lead to the disappearance of the McDonald's supersized menu altogether. But nearly 70 years earlier, an even crazier experiment was conducted by White Castle, considered the world's first fast food hamburger chain, per the eatery's website, in an attempt to prove that eating exclusively burgers was a healthy option. It also led to funding research on the benefits of burgers. In 1930, the company commissioned a study from the University of Minnesota tracking the health of a college student eating only White Castle burgers. At the end of the test, the subject was in good health after eating nothing but sliders and water for 13 weeks. Nevertheless, White Castle did make a few slight changes to their recipe afterward to offer a more balanced burger per the research from the study. Number nine, Crave Mobiles. Despite having nearly 400 locations, White Castle only operates in about a dozen states. To feed the crave for those who live in castleless areas, the company dispatches mobile restaurants called Crave Mobiles. One 2015 stop in Orlando saw more than 10,000 sliders sold. Number 10, White Tower. Hoping to replicate White Castle's success, rivals with names like White Palace, Royal Castle, and White Clock began springing up during the 1920s and 1930s. One company, the Milwaukee-based White Tower chain, even studied the exact measurements of White Castle restaurants and used them to erect its own medieval-style buildings. So, in 1929, White Castle sued. After a legal battle involving a second lawsuit, White Tower forked over an $82,000 settlement and agreed to revamp its buildings with a fresh art deco themed look. We appreciate you sticking around until the end of the video and hope you enjoyed, but why stop now? Click these videos for more awesome content.